Hello everyone, my name is Jenna Brown and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you all of the gear that I use as a beginner filmmaker and YouTuber, I guess. <laughs> I wanted to preface this by saying that I don't want this video to come across as braggy or trying to show off all the gear that I have. All this gear I've bought with my own money from my own savings. And I've bought it over the course of two to three years. So I, I just hope that puts it into perspective for you. Let's start off with the big things. The camera that I use. The camera that I use is the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. This is the same camera that I'm filming on. The camera I'm filming on is my camera. This is my dad's, but it's the exact same camera. Um, it has the kit lens on it. I don't use it with the kit lens. I use a different lens, which I will show you later on. But this is a great camera. It is really great for video because the screen pops out. So if you're filming yourself or if you're holding it really low down, you need to look from above. You can tilt the screen or vice versa. So that's really handy. It also protects the screen when you're carrying it around. But it's great. It shoots up to 60 frames per second. Also does 30 and 24 frames per second. And it has autofocus. It's a crop sensor. And this camera ran me about 750 bucks, I think for the camera, the kit lens. It's not the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. It's really good for beginners and entry-level people trying to get into videography and stuff like that. So that's why I bought this one. So the next two things are two bigger things that I have to make my videos, and I will show you those at a special place near my house. So I'm gonna go there now, film some stuff, and then I will be back to show you the rest. I'm here at Hatley Castle where I'm going to show off two of my favorite equipment for making my videos more cinematic. And those two things are my DJI Mavic Mini drone and my Ronin S stabilizer from DJI. about the drone is that it's super light so it's 250 grams which means you don't need a license to fly it so I'm gonna just show you guys what this looks like Drones are great for getting a different perspective on an area where you are. You get to see it differently than everyone else who has a camera, so I really like it. This, I love this because it makes my videos better, I think. Like, I mean, you don't need it, but I like, I also like flying it. It's really fun. This was only, not only, but it was $600, which is pretty good for a good quality drone camera. and. I think that it's worth it if you want a drone. This one's really good. Stabilizer time. <laughs> there we go. So the best thing about stabilizers is how smooth and clean your footage looks from using them. I got this one about almost two years ago and it costs a lot of money. It costs like almost a thousand dollars. DJI just released their newest version of this drone so this price when I looked at it most recently it went down a lot. It's now like seven hundred dollars. It was quite expensive. Wow, balanced it 
quite nicely. Oh, I just sat on the wet bench and my butt's gonna be all wet. But although this was quite expensive, I really like using it and it's quite annoying to carry around so I don't bring it everywhere. But when I do, I'm always happy because of how smooth the footage looks. So I'll show you what some of the footage looks like now. I can run with it and it's still smooth. So the main lens that I've been using is the 18 to 135 millimeter. The kit lens is 18 to 55 millimeter, so I like it so much more. It's a lot bigger and heavier, but I think it's worth it just to be able to zoom in a lot farther. It's just a lot more versatile, so that's what I'm filming on right now. It was about $450. I got it on Amazon. It came with a UV filter and some like this little mini tripod that is honestly useless for, for like a camera with that lens on it, so I don't know why they put it in with that lens like this is what it looks like this tiny little thing like how would that ever hold a camera that had that lens on it It'd come up to like here and just tip over anyways came with a bunch of stuff on Amazon I think it was like 450 bucks but worth it for a good lens so the filters right now I have on an ND filter it's this gobe one this is great if you're trying to take long exposure photos or for taking videos outside in the day. Um, like I don't really need it on right now, but it was on my camera and I don't wanna take it off and ugh. When you're shooting video, you want your frame rate to be half of your shutter speed. So if I'm shooting 24 frames per second, I probably have my shutter speed to 50. The reason you want an ND filter is because you're able to make it darker and lighter. Like if I go like this, it makes it darker. If I go like this, it makes it lighter. So when you're outside, you don't have to change those settings in your camera that make for a smooth video. You can just change the brightness from the ND filter and that should fix any overexposed areas in the video. When I'm outside, I like to have this around in case I need it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what the ND filter does. For right now, I'm just gonna have it on minimum and I'll scroll it up to maximum so you guys can see what it actually does. Sometimes it gets these weird like dark spots. Um, you don't want there to be any dark spots like you probably saw in the video I just showed. Now I'll show you without the ND filter. So it actually makes a big difference. I could just see that from taking it off and putting it back on. So hopefully that shows why an ND filter is good. The other filter I have is this UV filter, which to be honest, I don't really know what it does or notice the difference, but I just use it as like a lens protector so that if this breaks, it doesn't really matter. This came for free with the lens and if it breaks, I don't really care. So I just put it on just to protect the lens. Microphones. Oh, this is annoying. I did a whole nother video with my other microphone on this camera, but it's kind of breaking or something's wrong with it. And when I listen back to the video that's like literally 26 minutes, it has this weird fuzz over it. So I'm just very annoyed because now I'm refilming with the actual microphone that I use. What I'm filming with now and what I've been filming with so far this whole video is the Rode Video Micro. And it's really cute and compact. And I'll show you, oh, the garage door is opening. I'll show you me talking about it with my other microphone and then you can see what it looks like and also notice how bad the other microphone was being which is so annoying. This lens, you can take off, unplug it, you can take off this little, um, what are these even called? I don't know. Take off the little attachment to the camera and then you're left with just this which you can also take off the puppy and it compacts and packs up like really small. This is my other microphone. Something happened, it, I, I don't know, but it was being really fuzzy that whole time, so I'm super annoyed. This was like 60 bucks, whereas the Rode Video Micro is 100. So far, I really like it, it's worth it for me, so I'm glad I purchased this. 
tripods. I just bought this tripod. I never thought that I would be someone to have this type of tripod. I don't know, it's just so like, to me, it's just like such a vlogger thing. And I know a lot of my videos are vlogs, but I just was like, oh, I don't need one of those. Like, But I got it and I'm thoroughly impressed because you can literally, it's so easy to just set up anywhere. Just, oh, there you go. So this is one of the best things, especially because all I had before was this Tyrion, Tarion, Tarion, I don't know, I can't pronounce things. But all I had before was this Tarion tripod, and it's one of the ones where you have to like undo each leg and set it all up. But I still do use it for videos like this, where I'm just sitting down. This was about 130 bucks, but so far worth it. Now, let's talk about my backpack. So this is my backpack. This is the Wandered Veer, and what's so special about it is it packs up to be super small and compact, so why I wanted it so bad was because, well, I was supposed to be traveling right now, so I wanted it to be able to fit inside of my bigger backpack for backpacking, and then when I was just going on a day trip or walking around, I had something to put all my camera and stuff in. What's so great about it, this is a blow up back panel. And so it has air in it right now and it just slides in the back of the backpack so that it's comfy on your back. But if you're packing it up, it just deflates really small. Same with this camera cube. And this also slides in the backpack and it inflates. And what I do is I also have this carabiner on there so I can attach it to the side of the backpack, one of the straps, so that it's just right there, easy for my camera. It's worked on the hike I went on, it worked really well to have my camera there. This is by far my favorite camera backpack. It's awesome. So this is my favorite gear that I use to make a lot of my videos and I really hope you guys like this video. Since it's starting to become winter and get a bit colder, I won't be going out as much since where I live it just pours rain throughout the fall and winter, so it's really hard to feel motivated to go and do stuff when it's pouring rain, and especially if I want to make videos of doing stuff throughout the winter, like you'll probably see more videos like this where I talk about like camera stuff or editing videos or photos or more random things like that. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you feel like subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. If anyone asks, I'm doing a video for a school project. <laughs> if I look annoyed, that's because this is my second time filming this today. Should have known because I bought a new one for a reason. Why the heck did I use it for this video? I don't know. <gasps> They're just fun to drive. I honestly just like driving it, driving it, flying it. Um, I if you've noticed me talking extremely fast and kind of quiet, that's probably why, because I feel awkward. <laughs> Taking videos in public is quite awkward and I'm very surprised that I'm able to do this.